Seven years ago, a group of industry partners and retailers teamed up on the umbrella of GS1 to develop a box that would perfectly fit their needs within their specific supply chain. Last year, finally, the product, the GS1 smart box, went to life and became part of their supply chain. And we as IPP are proud to be the partner and the logistics service provider to ensure that this one's happening. The GS1 Smart Box is a standardized foldable container for the FMCG industry. It has been developed to reduce cost, eliminate waste and improve supply chain processes overall. Each crate is almost a minute in the tunnel washing machine with around 60 degrees hot water followed by the drying process. This process is done in a very sustainable way by reusing the water and applying solar energy. We carry impact with the GS1 smart box. What makes it unique is the flap that optimizes the internal picking processes. You can reduce waste, it makes it sustainable, and the in-mode label with an RFID tag and a 1D and 2D barcode. You can scan, track and trace this box that makes it from a load carrier to a data carrier. Today we're at Vasto Park, our logistics partner. As IPP, we're supposed to deliver the right quantity at the right location at the right timing, but obviously also at the right quality. To ensure this, we team up with partners like Vasto Park to make sure that this is always the case. We from PNG started about eight years ago to think about more sustainable packaging. Our primary focus was to look into secondary packaging, which is cardboard elimination, to avoid especially the waste which is generated in that space. We used for the first testing plastic boxes, with which we have in our plants for internal traffic. The first ideas and the first tests were very successful, so we went to GS1 to launch the idea and talk with our partners, especially from retail. Together with DM and IPP, we have developed the smart box, which you can see here today. Today we have Gillette in our execution, mainly with our customer DM. When we started more than a year ago, the smart box project, we had chosen more than 30 articles from our Gillette portfolio, which have already saved us more than 50 tons of one-way corrugated cardboard. In addition, we see great potential in the, how we are filling our pallets, as well how we are filling our trucks. This has large potential in the future to further reduce our CO2 emissions. In addition, every box has an RFID tag, as well as serialized, so it means has a unique identifier, which brings as well for the future, large potential in the digitization. Our ambition is to fill all these empty spaces with smart boxes, which means we are clearly dedicated to bring all of our categories and products into smart boxes. DM started the smart box project now a few years ago to first of all get three things done. The first thing is to increase sustainability to reduce packaging material in our processes. The second part is to increase productivity because we now are able to reduce handling of these kind of products. And the third thing is to get quicker from the industry towards the disease and to our retail stores. Our experience with the smart box so far are on two important points. Although we started with a low volume, we see good progress in sustainability because we are able to reduce our packaging material. And the other important point is that we are able to reduce our handling in terms of uh, slow moving consumer goods in our DC. So what do you think on the future of smart box? I think we have two big goals. First of all, to increase our community of smart box users and of course, 
to get more and more products into this supply chain. That's exactly what we are trying to do, to bring more categories into the smart box and to push it into more retailers. And we will accept every product you will give us.